Ave Maria Prisma, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's the feast of St. Martin of Tours, great uh, bishop of France. He's a 4th century saint. He's born in what's now Hungary. His dad was an officer in the, in the Imperial Army. As a, he enrolled as a catechumen at about the age of 12, but at 15, there was some kind of a law at that time that if your, if your father were, were, a, were an officer, that the son would have to go in. So he went into the Legion, Roman Legion, and, uh, and in spite of the fact that he's a soldier, lived a very good life. One of the famous stories at that time, I, they were in Amiens, I think, and he's marching along, and it's really cold, and here's some beggar just freezing there, and everybody's ignoring him. So Martin just stopped and took his cloak and cut it in half with his sword and wrapped the beggar and went his way. The next night, he had an apparition of Christ our Lord with that cloak, uh, you, you know, saying, look, you were just a catechumen. Martin was just a catechumen, and he closed me. So he, after a... He, he, man, he got out at the age of 18, out of the, out of the legion, and went and became a solitary, became a monk. Now, St. Hilary of Poitiers made him an acolyte, and then he built a monastery there somewhere, but eventually he's erected to become the bishop of Tours. So he went over there, and he actually built a monastery and had 80 monks living with him, so he lived as a monastic, as the bishop, didn't change his way of life at all in that way. He's a very powerful exorcist, in fact, right now, the grand exorcism, the one that the, the exorcism, at least in the Latin rite, used, it was put together by Alcuin, who's a, a bishop under Charlemagne. It has three exorcisms in it. One's from St. Ambrose, but one is from St. Martin of Tours. So when they're doing exorcisms now, one of them goes all the way back. Uh, one part of that whole exorcism goes all the way back to St. Martin of Tours. And I don't know where the third part comes from. But anyway, so every time an exorcist is actually doing exorcism, they're hearing all the people that have ever pounded on them all through the years, all the way back to St. Martin of Tours, using the, those very same words, and it caused them great pain. So he's a great exorcist. He raised a very significant number of people from the dead, which would get your pagans undivided attention. He tore down pagan shrines, cut down pagan trees and, and, and groves and stuff like that, would build the Catholic chapels in the same area and so forth. So a great apostle, really, of Gaul, which is now France. A great apostle of Gaul. That's just a little bit on St. Martin of Tours. Today, you could pray to him for a couple things. First off, pray to him on behalf of the bishop, because they certainly need intercession to act more like him and less like what we've got going on right now. And, and pray to him also for protection from the wickedness and snares of the devil. Ask St. Martin of Tours to watch over you and your family.